This design is going to be for a very simple 360 degree motorized camera slider using a stepper motor from an old printer, a $5 controller board, and a few pieces of scrap. The camera is going to mount on top of a bracket to do timed 360 degree videos. Simple materials, easy construction. Very simple construction. Used a hole saw to cut that circle out and that stepper will be mounted underneath. A small piece of hose line is what's going to connect our stepper motor shaft to a spinning disc that the camera can mount on. The way this is going to work, it's pretty simple. A piece of pine. This was a plate from a project a while ago. I just threw in the junk, junk bin. Any piece of plexiglass or plastic lid or something with a solid surface would work fine. This will be screwed down on here. There will be a hole drilled here with a nut that was in the junk, junk bin countersunk through there. And this will go on top. This was ordered on eBay. These things are really cheap. That'll be suction cup there and that'll hold the camera. Keeping things very simple, just a hole drilled and then a bigger hole drilled around it to countersink the top of that bolt. To make this easy to mount on a tripod, this nut fits the quick release for the tripod and we're going to set that in there for the underside of the 360 degree slider. That shows that nut countersunk in there. I glued that up as well. So in addition to compression in the vise, it's also glued. There's the motorized camera mount. Works pretty well. Even with that nut under here, sometimes the simplest solutions help. The rubber band helps hold that side down, side down until some more epoxy can be placed inside. But I could get some cool results from this. This is on three. We can slow it down. Two. If we slow it down too much because of the stepper and the weight, we get some spring back. So let's try some shots. So if you're trying to simulate an airplane crash or something spinning out of control, this might be a cool option. A larger stepper motor and a camera with a lighter battery might work a little bit better.
actually works the best with a super light camera like this keychain one. 